Here we are again in Amsterdam on a very nice rainy day, around 10 degrees Celsius, and we're going to take out the new Schubert C4 Pro modular helmet for a test ride. We already did the previous version, and there are a couple of things about that that I wasn't too happy with, so we're going to see if this lives up to the expectations. Let's go ride. <laughs> Well, this is the new Schubert C4 Pro. I've been riding around now for about, about an hour. And I must say, unless I am only imagining it, I believe that this helmet is actually a little bit quieter than its predecessor. But like I said, I could be imagining that because, um, well, the old one was pretty quiet as well. So it can't be a big difference, but noticeable nonetheless. The new Super C4 Pro is very, very nice to wear. The first thing I've got to say is that that velvet lining, I've said it before in other videos, but it feels very comfortable. Definitely giving brands like Shoei a run for their money and definitely giving other big brands a big competitor when it comes to comfort. And I must say, even though Shuba have gone back to the old fit of the, like, the C3 Pro and the C3 Basic, um, I must say, this one definitely sits on my head better than the original C4, which is pretty nice. So I'm really happy about that. The helmet weighs around 1700 grams in the smallest shell size, and if that's a little bit too heavy for you, then don't worry, because there's also a full carbon version of the new C4 Pro, so you can get that too. And the C4 Pro is prepared for the SC1 advanced and standard communication systems. Uh, Shubuff were going to bring out the SC2, but due to testing issues, they decided to uh, bring out an update for the original SC1 systems and for now at least cancelled the new SC2 so you can forget about that for now. Despite that they have improved the communication system by moving the microphone from the top of the helmet to the bottom on the side so it's right next to your mouth. This provides you with much clearer sound and obviously takes away a lot of distortion while you're talking so you're definitely doing the person listening to you a big favour. If you're not interested in using communication systems in your helmet, then you can always take a look at the Schubert C4 Basic, which is actually 100 euros cheaper than the C4 Pro, and obviously it's not prepared for the SC1 system. However, it is prepared for a universal intercom, so you can always put in your own Senna or Cardo system or whatever you've got. And as I already mentioned, I could just be, it could just all be in my head, but I have a feeling that this helmet is a little bit quieter, even. Obviously the helmet has a sun visor which is located on the left over here, you can bring it up and bring it down, and it also has a switch, so if your nose is a little bit too big or it sticks out a lot, uh, you can turn the switch and then the sun visor comes down a little bit less to save you that rash. There was an issue with the original C4 where the uh, pinlock lens, which wasn't actually a pinlock, it was Schubert's own design, wasn't really working that well. Um, luckily they already replaced that before with an official pinlock lens and of course with the new Shube of C4 series uh, all new Shube of C4s come with an original brand pinlock which prevents your visor from getting all foggy. The ventilation on this helmet is excellent if you open up the switch on the top or at the front you immediately feel and also hear that the ventilation is open. But as today it's not really that warm, I think I will keep the ventilation closed, at the top at least. If with rainy weather you do have the problem that your pinlock sometimes still fogs up, uh, it can be advised to uh, open the chin ventilation because it lets in a lot more air um, around the visor and often that helps solve that issue. Now at high speeds this helmet of course bobs around a little bit, but not much, definitely not much, especially for a fairly round uh, flip-up helmet, although she would do test these things in wind tunnels, so I imagine they put a lot of time and thought into the shape, and obviously our eye helmets are fairly round too, and they do a great job as well. So I guess that doesn't always say everything. We don't always need big fancy spoilers to make a helmet aerodynamic, sometimes less is more. 
In short, if you're looking for a modular helmet that actually feels like a top-class modular helmet, because it is, then this is definitely one to look at. And a big part of that is thanks to the extremely comfortable shape and fit of the helmet, um, which is also created by the velvet lining on the inside, which feels absolutely amazing. Of course, the low noise level, which is great. The strong outer shell, which is made for fiberglass. The multi-density EPS inner shell the long sun visor and one of the most important things about this helmet that I haven't actually mentioned in this video yet is the uh, outer visor which is pretty damn big I mean if you take a look you can see to the left to the right uh, up at the top down at the bottom there's a lot of viewing angles there it really really does a good job at that I can look around virtually without moving my head obviously I would advise that you do move around your head um, but it's much more pleasant than, than many, many other helmets currently on the market. So that's definitely a reason to take a look at the new Shuba C4 Pro. Check it out on our website, photomoto.com, where of course you will find all the models, all the prices, the availability, and of course our excellent service and worldwide shipping. And we hope to see you again next time. Give us a like and a subscribe on YouTube and a thumbs up, of course, and we'll see you again. See you later. Thank you.